Hello and good morning for PPM's podcast, March 2021, take two. The reason for this one, even though we literally just did a podcast a few days ago, was we got a call from one of our instructors questioning, uh, coming up for her monitor, where she said the new video, the new heart saver video, talks about using the heel of one hand on an infant. Yeah, not a child, on an infant. And we said, well, no, the newest thing is the encircled hand technique, but we'll look into it and make sure. So we pulled the video up, and sure enough, the video talks about two fingers and circled hand or the heel of one hand on an infant. Okay, so that got us researching the books, and these are the new material, the new Heart Saver uh, books that have literally just come out. And I'll read right here for what it says. An infant is defined as less than one year of age. Okay, so we always say from zero to one. Uh, difference in CPR for infants versus child and adult. Because infants are so small, there is some difference in how you perform CPR for them compared to what you would do for a child or adult. When giving chest compressions on an infant, you use only two fingers of one hand or two thumbs versus one or two hands for a child and two hands for the adult. Okay, so there is a direct conflict of what the video is saying. And I've had the unfortunate thing of actually doing CPR on infant more than I would care to say. And reality is two fingers do a great job compressing the infant's chest. Uh, they Very little compliance there. So, I mean, it does not take much power to actually compress the infant's chest the necessary depth. Remember, one-third their diameter. So it doesn't take much to do that. And certainly, if whatever reason, the two fingers, two, two thumbs would certainly be more than enough to do that. The heel of one hand is literally going to make up their entire chest wall. And so I question whether that would be such a great idea. Uh, remember, you're not going to break ribs because infants' uh, ribs are so flexible that the likelihood of breaking something along those lines. But certainly the possibility of going way too deep in your compression on an infant is certainly a possibility with the heel of one hand. So I, I question that. I want all my instructors to really be thinking the two fingers as the primary method to do this uh, encircled hand technique if for some reason you can't manage to get that infant's chest to go down. But in all cases, I find it very odd that you would have to use the heel of one hand. And we're going to look further into this, but I really think that's a mistake in the video. And I'll go on record as saying I think that's a mistake in the video. Okay, but the bottom line is two fingers does work. Circled hands would work. Um, question whether or not you even want to show your students the use of a heel, single uh, hand trying to compress an infant's chest. Okay, so we'll let this go here. I'll get back to you later as we get more information from Hart because we'll be questioning them directly uh, and find out what they're thinking about this or what the logic was for saying the heel of one hand in their videos. Okay. So that's where we're at. And again, we bring these podcasts to you as we find out things, things pop up, uh, because it's important to get this information directly to you, the instructor. Okay? So again, any questions, give us a call. Text me is the best way to get me. Uh, text number is 410-688-3427. Again, 410-688-3427. Text me and I'll get back to you uh, as soon as I read that text and can get an information back to you. And in some cases, it may even trigger another monitor, not monitor, another uh, podcast for you. Okay, so that's everything, and I'll be back to you soon. Take care.